Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I am doing another Python tutorial and this one we're going to get into true and false. So as far as this goes, uh, this is very useful for beginning and, and doing some advanced things. But if you haven't seen the previous videos, I highly recommend that. And please check out the card towards the top to go to that. But if you know about true and false and just want to skip ahead, then feel free to do so. And a card should be towards the top. Then that means that the next video is probably not out. Keep in mind these videos come out once or twice a week. And um, yeah. So as far as true and false. True and false, um, many people know as 1 and 0. So 1 being true, false being 0. In Python, same. Well, Python, you can put in true. It tells you it's true. False equals true. False. Well, in you can actually even do math with this. So true plus true, which equals two, minus true, which equals one. So it shows it right there. And uh, I messed that up, so forget that. Uh, I messed up the lettering. So false plus false equals zero, because zero plus zero, zero. So there, you can do things like that. Um, then if you go and check the board, and do true, it will tell you it's true, false, it was false. Anything with an empty value, so a list or a string, you will have false. But we'll get into none in a later term. Uh, but as far as anything with anything in it, so like, again, a list or a string, if it has anything in it, then it's true. So that's a big one is knowing that anything that actually has anything in it is true. This actually does come in handy uh, quite a bit. So, so for example, just thinking of a scenario off the top of my head, if you need to run a program in, um, I don't know, like a game or something like that, and you need to show the person some value you can or, or they do something if it's based on a string or a list if the string or list is empty like they hadn't done something yet to trigger a string or list to be created then what it would happen is it will say that it's uh, false like it's empty and um and it will you can say if false then do blah so you can do if else statement which we'll get into later on if else um, if we haven't already and and a few other things like that but as far as that goes it's been craig bennett found on our tech views nope if you got any questions on this feel free to leave them down there in the comment section please feel free to leave a like subscribe share check out the patreon campaign to help keep these videos free and help funding this stuff but i'll see you in the next video and hope you have a great day